I love sushi and I watch all the time at the little sushi place in the window of how they're making it and after many many years I thought I reckon I could give that a go. <laughs> yeah. So here is a video, <laughs> very broad and very realistic of my first time making sushi. Let me know down below if you've made sushi before, if you eat it, what you think about it, what your favorite is, because I would love to know. And uh, <laughs> enjoy the video, that is. So I got all these ingredients from Cole. So we've got the sushi sheets, all the nori seaweed. We've got the sushi rice. We've got a bamboo mat. We've got a tin of tuna, rice wine vinegar, and I picked up some avocado. So looking at the directions on the back of the sushi packet, it tells you exactly what to do. I've since thrown away the packet, so I can't even retell you, but I did film the whole thing. <laughs> so you can watch with this. So what I'm going to do is two different lots of sushi as well. One is just a very plain tuna with the rice and the other one I'm going to put avocado in because my daughter only likes the plain tuna and I think else in there. And of course you've got to cater to everybody so first of all you've got to open the <laughs> rice packet <laughs> oh, i had a lot of difficulty and it's funny because it's obviously vacuum sealed so once you open it then all the rice like moves around it's very cute and following the directions i put in one cup of the rice to i think it was one and a half cups of water and i put it into our rice cooker for it to do its thing Oh yes, forgot to mention that I did actually wash the rice as per instructions, but also I know that's what you're meant to do. I didn't find that out till much later in life, believe it or not. But yes, and then tomorrow's video, we've got a Korean barbecue coming up. So you're going to want to stay tuned for that. So the water that came off of rinsing the rice, we actually saved because we're going to need that in tomorrow's video. Here's our rice all cooks and yep, <laughs> oh well. Uh, and now we're putting together a tablespoon of sugar and I think it was one and a half tablespoons of the rice wine vinegar. Again, it's all on the back of the sushi packet, which I've since thrown away. And then you mix that all together and then you put that in with the rice and then you mix that all three. You definitely could taste that there was something in there. It doesn't have that. Um, sour vinegar taste but it does there's a little bit of a taste to it but it's not bad it's just that you realize that there is um, something in there for sure So next up we've got the bamboo sheet and it took me a minute to figure out which way should be up <laughs> as well as then trying to figure out which way should be up for the seaweed sheet because it says rough side up and both sides felt rough to me so I'm trying to figure that out as well. Next is the rice and I definitely think I grabbed too much although I kept looking in the pan going oh, I don't want to take too much and not have enough for a second one. But by watching other people online make sushi, I definitely think I've put way too much rice on here. <laughs> and I did wet my hands beforehand, but as you can see, it's just sticking everywhere. So, <laughs> oh my gosh, it was a little bit of a disaster. And I've spread it too far out to the edges <laughs> and there's nothing for it to grab when it rolls over. And then I'll try wetting my hands and spreading it out a little bit. And of course, you've got to fix all the holes with the rice to put it all there. And <laughs> oh, this looks like paper mache, I tell you. So the first one is just going to be plain tuna because that's what my daughter likes. So put that in there. I definitely should have broken the tuna up a little bit more, maybe... Mine I forgot to mix with some mayonnaise as well because I think it just would have um, helped smooth it out a little bit. But yeah, again, 
we have no idea what we're doing and I watched a video really carefully about how they roll up the sushi and I still don't get it because the mat rolls then into the sushi and you've got to pull that apart and as you can see I've already got rice and tuna stuck inside the mat and it's just oh, I don't get it at all I know it's just going to be more practice and I'm more than happy to give it another go but Oh my gosh, this was just a bit of a mess. I also didn't roll it straight at all. So the edge of some of the sushi, um, there's seaweed with like nothing attached to it at all. <laughs> and as you can see, I've put way too much rice in there because it's just completely overflowing. But yeah, <laughs> for my first attempt, hey, it is at least the same roll type consistency as sushi. And I uh, chop it up. I definitely am not going to be hired to work in a sushi restaurant anytime soon. <laughs> All right, now it's time to do the second one. And again, we're going to put the rice down. And I totally underestimated how much rice is left over. I thought I was going to run out. And then this one, I thought I'd try and spread it out a little bit more. And I just ended up making more of a paper mache mess. And there's actually more rice in this than the previous one. And I put it right to the edges and <laughs> there's nothing for it to grab onto it's just a complete disaster but I got the avocado in there so I was really happy with that and then again I've put the tuna in here again I so wish that I remembered to put the mayonnaise in there I so will for next time and then we go to roll it up and it is just the most funniest disaster I decide this time to not use the mat at all and just use the sushi and it rolled a lot better I thought and at least the edges um, on the sides were like flush with the rice if that makes sense however we had a little bit of a blowout in the middle where some rice is trying to break out of one of the tops and <laughs> yeah this is my sushi so that's okay and you know what i enjoyed eating it because i made that so i was very impressed with myself even if it did look like a complete hot mess So I learnt my lesson here to cut the sushi pieces up a little bit smaller even though that meant this end piece just got totally demolished but I was kind of eating little bits as I was going along so by the end of it it all kind of made a little bit of sense but you know what for my first go there's a round sort of circular shape and inside is some sushi and avocado and it all fitted well together with our Korean barbecue which you can check out the video tomorrow so I hope that you will join us because that was a lot of fun thank you so much for watching today and I look forward to seeing you next time bye